Hello, Snaz here. Uh, today I want to show off my submission for Crafty Masterman's combination lock competition. Uh, rather than doing a modular design that you can tile, I decided to go with a discrete logic unit uh, that can store an unlimited amount of digits. The way this works is by using a stack of chest mine cards that each contains uh, some various count of items and taking the output, comparator output, of the chest mine cart and comparing that to each successive incoming digit. Um, and then once I've iterated through all the chest mine carts and there are no more left, uh, then the output will turn on if all the digits have matched up with the values of the chest. Um, this design is three blocks wide by four blocks tall by six blocks long. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to get into the demonstration. So uh, right now I have set up the lock with the combination 366789. So let me go ahead and enter that. 3, 6, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And as you can see, we get an output. Let me just reset the lock. And I can test with some other combination just to verify that this doesn't work with other combinations. Uh, you can see we don't get an output this time. So let us reset the lock again and I'm going to uh, show you how to set the lock. So what I like to do is to remove all the chest mine carts with the items and uh, put them in uh, all, all at once. So there we are. So this is how you input the code. Um, let's say we want to change the code to 1, 2, 3, 4, really simple. We would set a minecart with a signal strength of 1 and then uh, align it against a grindstone and drop it down. Then you would get a signal strength of 2, uh, push the minecart down, signal strength of 3, and so on. And you can do this for however many digits you want. Uh, the entities will just keep stacking and the lock can handle it. So let's test this. Just uh, reset to make sure all the entities are aligned correctly. And let's enter the code. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we get an output. Uh, world download will be in the description. Uh, I also have some of my previous versions. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.